So they locked the poor guy up. That's going way too far. I wonder what for. I bet he was fired. What are you talking about? That's right. You know, like the company wanted to do a little restructuring, so they made him work under intolerable conditions until he quit. Yeah? And then what? Like maybe on the pretext of having him concentrate on gathering data without being disturbed, they shut him up in the library research room during his working hours. And then they were just going to keep that up until he got fed up with it and quit on his own. That's outrageous. Yes, it is. But if we don't do a good job on this report, it could be us next. And we want to escape the city and get out of this fog, right? So let's do our best. Yeah, I'm with you. Look, we're almost at the library. We're here inside the Von Erich Library. There's no sign of anybody around. The staff has probably all evacuated already. We're now going to try and find the research room where the man is reportedly being held. This is the checkout desk. This is where books would ordinarily be borrowed from the library. As you can see, there's no one here now. As you can see, the library's interior is dim. The shelves are filled with row upon row of neat, orderly books. It's deadly quiet here. Here are stairs that lead to the basement. Let's go see what it looks like, shall we? Usually, this library is a place where many people gather to read and do research. Today, however, it's empty. It's a large space. There don't appear to be any books in here. This room must be used for some other purpose. It seems to be a terminal for looking up books. But is it working? Oh yes, it's working. There's something on the screen. What is it? Ah! That's not a book research terminal. It's a security camera monitor. A security camera monitor? Well, what a surprise! We found a surveillance system that looks like a search terminal. It seems every room in the library can be observed right here on this monitor. Look, 
there's something there. It's so small, I can't see it very well. The way those books are lined up looks a little strange. Oh, there's somebody there. There's a man in the small room at the back. This must be the man they say was locked in. He appears to be afraid of something. I wonder how we can rescue him. There's something written on the wall. Look at that! That clock is a little strange. It only has an hour hand. TV. Can you hear me? Don't worry, we've come to get you out of there. If you can hear me, please answer me. It's no use. I don't think he can hear me. It looks like it's electronically locked. Ladder. I bet I could use this stepladder to see what's on top of these bookshelves. What could it be? As you can see, I've found a key on top of the bookshelves. Does it belong to one of the library's visitors? Or maybe it opens one of the doors here in this library. I 
wonder what the second floor looks like. Let's go and see, shall we? Hey, there's something on the floor. It's a videotape. Let's pick it up. can open this with that key. It worked! It opened! I wonder what this room's for. It seems to be a perfectly ordinary room. There's a desk and a few other things here and there. There seems to be some kind of note.
The electronic lock opened. Let's go in. Glenn! Are you all right? I'm Carly Reese from Zaka TV. We came to rescue you. He's been killed. Another monster, maybe? Oh, look! It's an air vent. A monster must have gotten in through there and attacked this guy. Something terrible has happened here. A monster. A monster got into this basement room. Zaka TV News Team did our best to get to him as quickly as we could. But I'm afraid we were too late. When we ran into this room, he had already been killed in the horrible way you see here. The monster probably came in through that air vent, killed the man, and then vanished. Our news team is now in danger, too. We feel bad to leave the poor man lying here, but I'm afraid we'd better leave at once. I'm Carly Reese, reporting to you from the Von Erich Library. Okay, that was good. Ah, uh, I hope the chief will think so, too. Oh, I bet she will. What with the gross footage and all. Okay. Hold on a minute. Look, it's the man's notebook. Could you film this for me too? Not again. Isn't there anybody left alive? <laughs> Was it because he knew too much? There's something written under today's date. He was supposed to meet a Dr. O'Connor at Club Gochi today. I wonder who this Dr. O'Connor is. I wonder. But I bet he's the one who knows the real facts behind this mysterious fog and the monsters. So you want to go there? Of course, Mr. Briscoe. It's a big scoop.
three, two. Good evening, everyone. This is Carly Reese. Following up on our own leads, our news team has been able to learn that Dr. O'Connor, a man thought to know what's behind the tragedies that have been occurring here in Chicago, is here at Club Gucci. Just what kind of man is this Dr. O'Connor? And does he know the truth? These are questions that will hopefully soon be answered. As you can see, it is pitch black here inside Club Gochi. We can't see anything. Mr. Briscoe, can you turn on the lights? We can't film like this. Hold on. I'll flip the switch. Where is it? Oh, here it is. No good. It looks like the breaker is off. Where's the breaker? How should I know? I can't look for it in this darkness. So what should we do? We can't broadcast a pitch black report. Hmm, let's see. Uh, I think there was a junk shop in this neighborhood. Maybe we can find an infrared unit for the camera there. Oh good, let's go find that junk shop then. Get in everybody. I've been to this junk shop before, when we were in the area doing a story. The owner was bragging they have everything under the sun there. Really? Well, I hope he's right. Well, we'll see when we get there. I'm gonna floor it. I don't know. It looks like a pretty filthy place. Yeah, that's right. Do you really think they'll have an infrared unit for the camera there? We won't know until we go look. Oh, yuck! It's all dusty in here. I better not get my clothes dirty. They're computer tower cases. Huh? You see something interesting? Here. Guess they carry a lot of audiovisual equipment. Hey, did you hear something just now? Huh? They've got all kinds of stuff, huh? Some of it's even illegal, sitting right out in plain sight.
Wait, not yet. We can't go back without an infrared unit. We won't be able to film anything. Their antennas and tuners for radios. We don't need anything like that right now. Over here. There's something on the floor. It's a key. Wonder if it goes to something here in the shop. It'd be nice if we could get into the storeroom. Shall I try the key I just picked up? It's nothing but junk! Gotta be an infrared unit around here somewhere. One single nice thing in here? Sorry, I think their designer bags are sold out. It doesn't look like there's anything else here. Red unit. All we have to do is slap this on the camera and we'll be able to shoot in the dark. Now we can finally make a real report. Great! That's it then. Yes, let's hurry back to Club Gochi. <laughs> <laughs> 